Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. As mentioned on the program today, talking to Jerry Dolan. He's the author of the book, Tommy McGee at War, a novel. Uh, Jerry Dolan attended Aquinas College in West Australia, then took up civil engineering in London. He worked in a large building company for 10 years, then went independent, became a consulting engineer and projects director, traveling far and wide. Retired a few years back and joined the Fellowship of Australian Writers. And he's with us, as I mentioned, on tonight's program to talk about Tommy McGee at War, a novel. Jerry Dolan, welcome to the program. Great to have you with us, sir. Yes, thank you, uh, Rick. It's nice to be here. It really is uh, a nice book that you've written here, and I, so much we want to talk about during the course of the program. And this is a book that I understand actually came to you a while back when, uh, when a very prominent jail closed down and it was discovered that there were a lot of tunnels and waterways, and you decided, hey, this, this is a book that needs to be written. That's, that's quite correct. Uh, I think you should go back one step. I'm an old Fremantle boy. Uh, my grandfather arrived in uh, Fremantle in 1870. So I do know what's going on a little bit around Fremantle. Now, the jail was built by convicts uh, at the start of uh, the 1800s. So uh, I was used to go to school right alongside the jail. And uh, one way or the other, uh, I got to know the jail pretty well. We used to walk, or I used to walk from there across to my grandmother's house, which was the other side of uh, the jail. And uh, I went back there a few years ago and I heard that the jail had been shut down. So walked over to have a bit of a look, uh, picked up a stone and threw it at the, at the big stone walls, something all of us kids used to do. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but we still did, I suppose, to keep everybody inside. Uh, anyway, when they shut the old jail down, they found all of these waterways underneath it. Uh, so I decided, hey, hang on, let's have a look. So I, my memories go back over 70 years there. And uh, what, was, what I did was to walk past the jail and go over to my old house where I lived, and uh, it was amazing. There were no trams, no open spaces, no HMAS Lewis. The old sugar refinery was gone. The old yacht club was a house. Boat building shed and ramps that had been turned into a marina. The old brewery was gone. The football field was apartments. And I said, hey, Fremantle, people are forgetting about the old Fremantle. So... I then decided, hey, let's start to do something. Let's put a story together. Let's put the kids' view of Fremantle during the war. And uh, some way or another, I then started off to do Tommy McGee at War. And you've done an excellent job with that. The book is called Tommy McGee at War, a novel by Jerry Dolan. The website uh, for all the information is Jerry's website, jerrydolan, D-O-L-A-N.com. Information you can link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. It's a book that young people will find fascinating, that older people will find fascinating as well. Let's talk, Jerry, a little bit about the story. This was set in, uh, in World War II. Talk about some of the characters in the book. Yes, it was in 1941, just just before uh, Pearl Harbor was bombed. Uh, but we've got some interesting characters in here. Uh, there's Tommy McGee, of course. He's the leader of the gang. Uh, the gang is called the Holy Smokes. Uh, then there was Ma Sergeant Major John Daly. He was the founder and leader of Z Force, the Commando Operations based on the mysterious and forbidding Garden Island, known to Tommy as Uncle Jack. Finally, there is Poacher Kenworthy, uh, who is a very bad man. And so he's, he used to strike terror in the hearts of all of us boys. And there are general wartime characters that we've got. We've got Mickey Munro, who's Tommy's best friend, Walking Death, Flatfoot O'Shea, Big Jim, the judge, he was always sitting on a case, the Moth, Ivan the Mad Russian, Piles McGurk, he was always he always hung out in dark places. Dusty Rhodes, 
Thirsty Bird, Snap a Nose, and many more. The story is written in the first person, and coupled with the uh, typical Australian humour, it's a highly visual book and uh, rather well suited to film or television. Uh, there are people that are looking at it at the moment. Uh, well, and they should. The you can you can see this visually as you're reading through the book. This would make uh, an, an excellent film or or uh, or movie. You know that type of thing. It would do very well. Uh, it's you've got some colorful characters there, and mentioned the uh, the holy smokes. I'm not going to give it away, but these really were holy smokes. When you read the story of where the gang got the name, you'll go, oh yeah, that that's appropriately named. And then you've got the uh, the stinking head Shea gang led by the uh, stinking head Shea himself. Uh, all the characters are there. How many of these characters are people that you you could draw on from your experiences growing up? It sounds like these are, some of these people are sort of personal to you. Uh, yes, they were. <laughs> uh, one of the interesting things about a port is that there is a lot of characters jump ship. Uh, Ivan the Mad Russian, for instance, was a real character. Uh, he escaped the rev the Russian Revolution and jumped onto a boat and he got off at Fremantle and wouldn't go anywhere else and he stayed there. So he was a real character. Uh, they've Mostly they've died a long time ago because uh, I'm <laughs> I'm getting on a bit myself. And uh, But there are characters like that all over the place and of course they hung around the football club that I was associated with and uh, one way or the other, I got brought up with them, and they were they were normal people. How long have you wanted to write this book? This is, sounds like something you've been thinking about for a long time, and finally that that moment was right when they discovered uh, uh, the tunnels and the waterways of the jail. But how long have you been thinking about writing this? Oh, 10, 10 12 years. So it's a uh, some time. This, yes. The book is Tommy McGee at War, a novel by Jerry Dolan. That's what we're talking about on the program, program This Week in America. Our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You can link on directly to Jerry's website, which is very simple, jerrydolan.com. The book shows how teenagers and adults interact during times of stress, and there are great times of stress during the, the start of World War II and uh, the time frame we're talking about here with Tommy McGee at War. Talk about some of the messages. We, they're colorful characters. They're stories that will that will make you smile as you're reading the book, Tom, uh, Tommy McGee at War. Also, some strong messages that come out of this. Messages for young people as well as for for adults. Talk about some of the messages that you would like to get across in, in the story. I think the the main message is that uh, you should be yourself uh, and look after yourself and get it get on with your friends and collectively you can achieve something, uh, particularly here in, in the period of time we're talking about. Uh, you had the Japanese coming down the coast. Uh, Darwin had been bombed flat. Um, a place called Broome had been bombed. And what was happening, uh, all the adults were wrapped up in the, uh, uh, the war effort. And we were just left to get on with our, just with living and, and surviving. And we had to re inter react for argument's sake with uh, Tommy's uncle, uh, Sergeant Major Daly, who's got really serious businesses because he, had, he was head of a commando unit that used to go up into a, a Japanese held harbors. And they used to disguise themselves as natives and, and go in canoes and just jump over the side and stick a bomb onto the side of a Japanese boat and turn around and get the hell out before everything blew up. <laughs> uh, so, yes, it, it, they re interact with them. And uh, um, that's the difficult thing. Uh, everybody has got to muck in and do everything f to help each other. And uh, that's that's exactly what happens here. It's an uh, excellently written book. It's called Tommy McGee at War, a novel by Jerry Dolan, our guest on This Week in America. Website for Jerry is jerrydolan.com. That's D-O-L-A-N. Information, of course, available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Let's talk a little bit about how long it, it took to, to write the book. 
You've got these characters in your mind. It's something you've been thinking about for a decade or so. Now you sit down to really begin to uh, to go to work on it. How long did it take to to develop everything, the the story as well as the characters? Well, the the storyline was more or less okay. I had that all of the time. What I had to do was to research all the slang that was being used at that period of time, which is completely different to today's yes. speech. Uh, for instance, the we use the term Aquili. Now, Aquili was a is an army term for AWL. Now, I believe over there in America you call it AWOL. Uh, over here without his is one single word apparently he used two words but anyway it was things like that that i needed to make it more authentic so i used a lot of the uh the slang of the time uh, and as luck would have it uh, after about a year of solid work on that i then started to form up the book uh i've walked around all the areas that we talked about uh, or that we talk about in the in the book just to make sure I had everything right so in some respects it's a sort of memoir and I think that's a that's the interesting way of doing things the book is Tommy McGee at War a novel by Jerry Dolan our guest on the program jerrydolan.com is the website the book's available uh, they say all across the country, Jerry is coming from Australia. The book is available all across the world. It's very simple to get information. And again, the, the website is jerrydolan.com. Once you have everything in place and you've done the, the research, you've done the character development, you have to now sit down and write. And you've got really an engaging writing style. You're very descriptive as you're writing. Talk about your, your, your background. Where did that come from? Is that something that you, you've always enjoyed writing? Uh not particularly it's just that i've got a wide, wide range of experience it does help that my father was the headmaster of Fremantle boys school see now now it's making sense now i understand this <laughs> so we yes and he was also captain of the local football team so one way or the other all of these sorts of things headed in towards us all the time uh we had to well I've got two sisters. We always had to sit down and write. Uh, and we also had to go out and meet people all the time. So this way, uh, the characters come to life and they've just remained alive in my head. And as I started to research, of course, more and more things come to mind. It's like the old tram that used to run around there in the wartime. They used to have uh, acetylene lamp headlights and taillights because it was too expensive to have electricity so they had these lamps on the front of it for using it uh, using them at night so it's uh it's just a question of getting the old memory cells working and uh and then checking out across the uh the areas that i want to write about and that of course puts the characters in place as well so, yes, it was, it was interesting. Uh, there was a lot of rewrites going on. Uh, your, the editors for it happened to be uh, from your part of the world, uh, the Random House people. Uh, and I had two pages of, please explain the slang. <laughs> they, they really didn't understand what I was talking about quite often. So I had to adjust it quite considerably so everyone all over the place could read it. The book is Tommy McGee at War, a novel by Jerry Dolan, our guest in the program. JerryDolan.com is the website. And I know you've been uh, pleasantly pleased with the, uh, the response you're getting. And you've had some younger people in it. The book really will grab your attention. And they're really enjoying the characters as well as I'm sure some of the history of, of the area which they come from. I, that's quite correct. I've been giving some lectures at libraries and, and in schools, and uh, the young people have, couldn't imagine what we were going through at that particular time. Uh, and 
they questioned me very closely and it, it was amazing they 15 and 16 year olders they were asking really serious questions and they were really interested in this story um seemed to strike their imagination so they they did ask me serious questions and i was very pleased that i was able to answer them what would you like people to take away from the book tommy mcgee at war besides being entertained and say, saying jerry i really like this there are again some subtle messages there it's not a book where that's going to hit you over the head with messages but there are messages there just the way the, the interaction between the adults and uh, and the teenagers what would you like people to take away from uh, from the book Tommy McGee at War? Well, I I think the camaraderie that's involved in a community that are at war, and it's a place where most of the adults have gone, and it, it's it's if everybody pulls together, then they'll overcome any sort of difficulty. So that's that's really the the way I like to look at it. Um, and you always have to do it with a bit of a smile. Don't do it. Don't don't pay that much attention to bureaucracy. Uh, get out and do it yourself. Don't let anyone <laughs> else do it for you. It's one of the messages in Tommy McGee at War. A minute or so left in the program. Jerry Dolan, the author, is our guest on the program. You mentioned before that uh, this has created some interest in terms of uh, a motion picture, a film, that that type of thing. How is how is that progressing? Is there a chance that we may see a, a sequel to Tommy McGee? Oh, there'll be a sequel to it. Um, I'm in the middle of writing that at the moment, and it deals with the time, uh, the following year, when there is a huge American submarine base uh, in the harbour, and uh, I'm working up uh, a, a proposition with respect to that. Uh, so people like to have a continuity. So all the characters will roll over, and they will still be there at the next uh, in the next book. And looking forward to that, this book is now available. It's Tommy McGee at War, a novel by Jerry Dolan. His website is jerrydolan.com. That's D-O-L-A-N. Information available, and you can look on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. It really is a, 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 a gripping read. You will be in, enjoy the characters. You'll enjoy the message. You'll enjoy the history that's in the book, Tommy McGee at War, a novel by Jerry Dolan. Jerry, a pleasure to have you with us on the program. Congratulations right. on an excellent book, and we look forward to having you back on the show. Very good, Rick. Thank you very much. Thank Don't you. Don't forget. The book, Don't once again, forget. Tommy Thank McGee you. at War, a novel. Jerry Dolan has been our guest on This Week in America. Jerry's website is jerrydolan.com. Information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us.